Cool. So who are you again? I'm Mike Tazak. I'm the team lead for the Webmail Apps team here at Rackspace Email. Yeah. And you were showing me all these cool sync features in the Webmail. Tell me a little bit about how you, the technology that you use to do that. Sure. So and What's it called, first of all? We use a software um, by a company called Finamble. It's also the name that they call their software. Yeah. But it's this synchronization um, engine and framework. And they have clients for Outlook, BlackBerry, iPhone, and they have server-side components as well. Uh, what makes it cool is that the server side is com is very extendable. So what we've done is we've taken their 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 server side components and we've attached it to our webmail platform. So that lets us synchronize using their clients um, against our your webmail account. Yeah. So it's an open source component that you're you're using. Or yeah, it's all open source. So it's actually using the uh, the AGPL version three. So we've taken a lot of their code and we've That's we've tweaked it. Yes, that it yes. Okay. It's a modification of the GPL, which states that software as a service is also distribution, which means that if you use it like that, you have to contribute your code back yeah. under the license. So we've taken these pieces and we've extended them and wrapped them into what we need. Um, but all our changes go back go back to them too, so it benefits the community as well. Very so it's win-win cool. for everybody. So anybody building a mail system or a, a system that needs synchronization, because this synchronizes to what, iPhone and Blackberry and Windows Mobile right. and, and some other places. Right. And so <clears throat> anybody who needs that kind of synchronization can use Finamble in their apps? They could, yes. And the pieces we've built for it maybe wouldn't help them specifically because it's our framework and our architecture. Yeah. Uh, but even just looking at the code, you can get some ideas on how to build it into something that um, you've built custom yourself or from scratch. Very That's cool. not just distribution like I don't know, Open Exchange or Zimbra. Very cool. So. Can you give me? Can you show me how it works and sure. how you in integrated it? Sure. Yeah. So I'm just going to give a quick demo of the Outlook plugin, uh, which I've already configured here. You can see I have Outlook open, uh, and the, the data set's pretty empty, so it's like I just installed Outlook. Yeah. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I've already set this up. I'll just do a quick sync. Um, all right. And this could take us a couple minutes just to get all the data from the server, but it should be. In a so you, so what up. it's doing now from Outlook, it's using Finamble or your code and Finamble to talk to your webmail yep. database, and it's uh, bringing in the data. So right now it's contacting um, the webmail account, and as you can see, the uh, the data is starting to kind of pop in. Um, this is my contacts list. It's going to do that first, and. As you can see, I've got you know 433 contacts. So again, this could take several minutes, but I have 4,000, so we should try that. <laughs> It'll work. We've tested it. But uh, one of the cool things that we've done to extend the uh, Finamble's um, functionality is to you know more tightly integrate it with with Webmail's features, like the company directory and shared calendars. So as you can see under my contacts here, if you want to kind of zoom in on that, yeah, uh, can be hard to see, but under the contacts, it's made a new folder called company directory, uh, and here you can see the contacts that actually the domain administrator controls. And these are, this is the contact information for every one of my coworkers. So I get this information in Outlook without me having to maintain it or anything. It's maintained by someone else and it's kept up to date every time I sync. That's really cool. Any tips that you had to learn to work with an angle? Uh, yeah, tons. Uh, nothing I don't, nothing I think I could actually say in less than, you know, an hour. Uh, I would give a couple the, the most fun part of the project has actually been working with the open source aspect of of all these tools, um, getting to know the community members. I actually I went to Italy uh, last year to to work on the iPhone client with Finamble's development team. That was a fantastic experience, you know, hanging out with uh, with their developers and getting to know how they work and their culture, which is actually pretty similar to ours. Um, the BlackBerry client that they're they're now releasing, um, the latest version of, was actually developed primarily by us, we contribute it back to them and they've taken it and back into their own um, product line and really embraced it. So, uh, like I said, the coolest part is just the fact that it's open source, you get to you get to work for your own company in your own environment on a completely different uh, set of projects, you know, around the world that, from people who speak even a different language and you get to know them and interact with them on a daily basis and it's really cool. Yeah, and there's probably a, a pretty good wiki or something like that because usually open source projects have lots of good information <clears throat> sources where developers yeah. share all those Yeah, Yeah, there's, there's a great uh, developers list that if, if you're not involved in the developers list from Fernando, you're not going to make nearly as much progress as if you were. Uh, and, and they're really good about maintaining the resources and they've just released this new uh, support site where you can find ways as a user even to, you know, get Finable to work better for you. Yeah. So. Did you guys evaluate any competitive technologies <clears throat> in terms of sync? We looked at a lot. Um, 
And but, why you know, did Finn the Anvil stand out for you guys? We definitely got a development culture here, especially back when we were webmill at US, we were a lot smaller. Uh, we didn't have like we didn't want to spend, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars on, on some proprietary solution when we can, you know, spend six to twelve months to code it ourselves. Uh, so we decided to go that route, and I, I really think, in retrospect, that we made the best decision, uh, just because of the relationship we've built with them, the flexibility that, the fact that it's open source, uh, it gives us, uh, and you know, you can you, you find a bug, you don't have to wait for someone else to go fix it. You can fix it yourself, release it to your customers, and then give the, the patch back to to Finamble to work with their customers. So you get kind of more control over the process. Uh, and that's that's been good for us. Yeah. Any uh, short tips <laughs> that you could give or suggestions of things that developers who might want to use syncing technology like this have to pay attention to? Or? Uh, synchronization is a complex problem. Um, Finamble's solved a lot of those those hard problems for you. And like I said, I strongly recommend the framework. It's, it's, I, it's a joy to work with. a lot more with. developers are going to use syncing technologies yeah. because of the popularity of yeah. Android and BlackBerry. and you know, All these cell phones are now coming out that are full-blown computers. And develop, I see <clears throat> tens of thousands of developers building stuff for them. Right, right. right. And, um, and of course, we still have good old Outlook and Exchange and, <laughs> and other systems that we need to sync <clears throat> to. So... Um, I, I would expect that there's going to be thousands of developers over the next couple of years who are going to need syncing yeah, technologies. Yeah. Is there anything that they need to think, you know, three or four things that they need to think about? My biggest tip would be, you know, rely on open standards, on open data formats. Uh, Active Sync's good, but you can't develop for it. It's got it's controlled by Microsoft. You know, um, the the open open standards are, I think are going to are going to win the the war, uh, kind of like Pop and IMAP did for email, uh, and you know, adopt those early. And you know, build a great application around it, and I think it's going to be in there for the long haul. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.